uh, hey, um, I have um, um, probably four plus students ask me question about how to represent multiple person in the JSON uh, encoding for the who part of homework assignment number three. I thought this might be uh, really useful for uh, um, other students to actually follow up to understand what's your option. The uh, number one, I should say that um, it is a, um, a particular part of the homework that we don't have a set solution, meaning that you really uh, should design uh, your way such that under the who part of the record or event, whatever you have, it will include all the persons or for the thing, it will, for the what part, it should include all the things that's actually need to be encoded. So I'm going to provide you just two different way uh, over here that as an example that you can actually follow. Okay, so let me share my screen so I can use uh, terminal to explain this. So I'm going to say who and uh, what dot TST. Okay, so assuming we have, um, um, let me just use example. I have actually two person or three person. Maybe I use three person in this scenario. We have Tiffany and we have instructor. Let me just say Felix. And then we have John. So we have three person. So um, the one way of doing encoding uh, under who. So imagine that this is your, assuming the following is the, is the output from record column column, um, dump to JSON. Okay, this is actually the, the output. So output from this, remember the return value is always return type is actually JSON column column value. Okay, so it's actually a JSON. So if you actually do uh, whatever the two style string, which is a function that's actually help you to get uh, the output in the string format, then you're going to see something like this. So I'm going to neglect other part, but just purely focus on the who part about this 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 process. Okay, so this is what my goal. I try to do the who part. Okay, so now the the thing is that the requirement is that whatever I put these three dots here, they must include all three person assuming that is the event which all three person were there, okay? So let me actually tell you uh, two different way to do it, option one. So what is option one? Option one, I'm actually using a JSON array. So I, I will say who, and then I'm actually going to say this is an array. So in JSON, array is bracket, okay? So it looks like this. And then within the array, I have to put multiple element. So each of this is a, uh, each of this, by the way, I should say, each of this will be the output from person, column, column, dump to JSON. So you can, you can actually see that we're actually using dump to JSON everywhere but in different level and sometimes recursively in this case, okay? So I'm going to show you the, the encoding, for example. So I'm going to only assume uh, the who will, uh, the, the person, your design of the person is only including the name, okay? So I'm going to print the name, but you could have other thing as well. So the first person is name, and the column is going to be Tiffany. And then this is the first output from the from the person dump JSON. And in the um, in the array to separate the element, you have a comma. And then the second object will be name. 
and then will be feelings. And, and then uh, the third one was his name. And then you have John. Let me, let me make this more interesting. I will actually have a two, two key value pair on each of the person dumped to JSON. The other one I call the row. Assuming I have something called row. And the first row is driver. And the second person is uh, row is instructor and the third one role is student okay you can see that each line represent the output from person dumped to json so essentially this part is actually produced by the person version of the dump to JSON. And in the record version of the dump to JSON, you kind of call them and integrate this in this format. Okay, that's option number one, I'm using array. But now I'm going to do option number two. So option number two is I'm not going to use array, but I'm actually going to encode it a little bit differently uh, assuming that, assuming, let me actually say this, assuming that a uh, row is not part of, uh, um, I should say, a person dump to JSON. So row is actually something which is associated with the event, but not associated with a person. Okay, so then I'm actually going to do this way. So instead of using array, I'm actually using the regular object like this. And, and then I'm actually going to do this. And for example, the first row is driver. Then you see I'm doing another key value pair. Uh, oh, wait a minute. Okay, driver, yeah. And inside here, I actually have a JSON object. And inside the JSON object is name, Tiffany. Okay, so this is the first key value pair. Here, I do want to say the portion that's generated by dump a person, column, column, dump to JSON is only this part. I just, I just highlighted. And, and the thing is the second one is instructor. And again, his name, Felix. And the third one is student. And then the third one is actually John. Okay, you can see that this is a different way of, of representing uh, the the number of row in both way you can see that I actually represent multiple person, and which way is better? Uh, to me, it depending on a lot of situation. For example, over here, you essentially need to encode the row of a person in some event in the person class itself, which might not be ideal because I could be instructor for uh, one thing, but I could be student in another record. So having a, a role means that I have to update this, the person class. So this is this is actually the, the, the beauty or the, the flexibility about object-oriented paradigm is really you decide what's the best way to model the, the, the situation. I mean, the option two also have some problem. For example, what happened if I have a multiple student I mean, this is just one student, but then what happened to multiple student? Because in JSON, the, the key need to be um, um, need to be unique. Otherwise, this one student, if you want to have a multiple student, let me actually show you the example, what you can do with multiple student. If you want to do multiple student, you need to do this. You actually put the student par, you, you should first change the student to be students. 
And then you should actually change this to name Zhang. And then the second one is name Jason. And, and, and then name Helen. You can see that this way, I actually be able to represent driver, instructor, and a bunch of students. And each of this represent the, the output of the, of the uh, JSON um, value from person that uh, uh, dump to JSON, okay? Any question in the room about what I just said? Yeah, in, in our dump to JSON, it has, it declares a result object right. for, and that it does, res and that, so, that's how we change it. Right. Okay. That result should be, if this is a result from person, column, column, JSON, that result is going to be corresponding to this part. This is this part is is should be the output. This part is the JSON, right? And that should be corresponding to the result that you implement in the in the person. Uh, gotcha. Colin, Colin, yeah, dump gotcha. to JSON. I thought the, the thing in square bracket was the who over there at the top. Is that what it is? Um, oh, no, at the bottom, like before the array starts, you have who in double quotes. This this part? Uh, it's, it's right over here. Okay. And it's because... Uh, who is the key for... that the in the record what assuming we have a record, mm -hmm. right? Inside the record, column, column, dump to JSON. Inside that function, who need to be provided? Right. By the way, that who is actually, um, that who was the, was the parameter one in in the should be in in somewhere in the encoding that the concept should be associated with the with the with the record class right yeah so for for right now we just have one object which is this and then person then dot dump to json instead of that one object can use the entire array like that because that's what i'm trying to do uh, for the i mean i'm trying to use the key for who and then i'm trying to make the array I, I'm sorry, I miss. Uh, oh, I it's mean, not clear what what uh, what you. Yeah, it's kind of hard to explain because because I wasn't entirely sure how to make an array for the res result. You, if you don't know how to make array, you can do it this way. Okay. You can do it this way. Okay, I'll try array. It it depends on how you you can actually make this. For example, in the record, in the record, you must have a multiple person, right? Yeah. So you can say, well, instead, I can actually say, uh, if you define your 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 uh, your record, say person one, person two, person three, then over here you can just say person one as a key, person two. This is another option. You can do that. You don't have to say uh, an array. You can say person one, person two, person three. Okay. This represents. Yeah, so you can see that it's quite object oriented program is quite flexible. It, it's just how what is the best option to match our understanding about the scenario. Mm -hmm. So they, therefore, that that's actually quite challenging. By the way, it's it's not just about correctness of the programming, but it's talk about what which way to represent make more sense. Yeah, I and, think and my that's, problem is I wasn't providing the keys. For the array, I think I was just putting the value there. Yeah, yeah. You, well, you you have to provide yeah, a key that's... because because according to the JSON encoding, yeah. right? So I mean, one thing is is look at this. This is clearer. If, if you have uh, if this is an event, and you have the next one actually will be what right? Something right, yeah. and then there will be another comma. Sorry, I forgot. And then you have a when. Uh, and then where, well, in some sense, this together is very clear about 
what's involved, when and where the information. That's the well, what I call the basic requirement for homework assignment number three. But you can you can imagine that if I really want to represent a, a concert or a protest, and there are other action, you can potentially include even a, 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 a image, right? You can you can say what's the images. And 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 then you can probably have a URL to YouTube video, right? And so you can actually have a lot of event, but it's really interesting. You can actually make this class really powerful to represent everything. And by the way, the nice thing about JSON is that I want to have the basic required information, but I can have a lot of extended information. For example, this particular uh, scenario record doesn't have a YouTube video, then I don't have the YouTube link there. So that's the power you can see that how we represent the 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 um the rich information from the web or from the the real life scenario, mm -hmm. and that that's actually um 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 very powerful paradigm for you too. Yeah. Yeah, I couldn't figure out how to make the code count how many persons, so I put like three jump to JSON functions for each. So, so you need to put a key. Yeah. And then and then call the dump to JSON function. Yeah. Okay, it will be integrated. I, yeah. I I now know. once you do it once or twice, you you will you will master this. I mean, don't worry. It's okay. it's it just you just need some practice. Okay. Thanks. Any other question? Okay, I'm going to uh, finish and, and upload, okay? Thank you. You're very welcome.